This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Voldemort back here with another episode of Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. In the last episode, we gathered some more artifacts and, uh, and runes, and we've also uh, decided to help the outcasts with their problem with the uh, Uruks by giving them their blasting power, and hopefully that'll help us get to the Black the black Hand, and I released one of those uh, Caradors to uh, cause some trouble, so that hopefully that'll help us out. Anyway, let's also release some flies while we're at it, too. Bon voyage! Bon voyage! Whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa! I was about to jump off, and then I realized there's someone down there. Clean out your ears! Ah! Can I kill that dude? Alright, let's try to find the rest of that grog so we can uh, get closer to uh, finding the black hand. Uh oh. Is that a, oh, that's just an outcast dude. I think if I'm found by the Caridor, it's fine, but if I'm found by the Orcs, it's bad. It's bad! Getting found out by Urux is bad. Come on, poison it. Poison it quickly now, quickly. Super fast. Super quickly. Alright. I didn't get caught, did I? Usually that music only forms when the when the uh, crap's going down. I don't see anyone else. I have to be careful about the care. Oh, is the Carador killing killing the outcast too? Oh, whoops. Oh well. Not my problem. It's not my problem because the mission does not say anything Stink about not going to outcast be killed. Surprise! They can keep it down. Yeah, Uruks are monsters, so it makes sense that they can handle anything. They can handle anything you throw at it, like a dog or an animal. Made you mutt. All right, so there's one more. Is that another? No. Okay. Yeah, I think that Carador killing everything is the only. Like real, like thing I got to worry about. I don't see anyone else. So. That's upstairs. Oh, okay. There we go. And those guys aren't gonna stop. Now all there is to do is wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> While the Caridors killed him in the background, they're like, Oh, let's drink! Ugh. Come with me. No. Come with me. No. Come on. Here, gone in here, and get sort of a happy ending story. I guess they found each other, so at least Mordor doesn't have complete hopelessness. And we completed it! Yay! All right, what are our options now? Aaron. Aaron sang to the prisoners in the lockup. She tended to their needs and fed them. Her father was the con a constable, a cold and hard man who served a rough justice. Her kindness softened many hard tempers, and she kept the peace as well, or perhaps even better than her father. Her fine singing attracted the attention of the ranger Hirgon, and the two fell in love. Outcasts and rangers distrusted each other and sometimes killed one another. Aaron married her ranger, and her pleasant nature overcame the scorn she received for her people. from her people. When Aaron was captured by the Uruks, Hirgon was crushed. Aaron, even in captivity, knew her love would save her. Well, like, is it is it just like uh, was it uh, Matrix? True love saves the day. He was saved by true love. God damn it! I don't mind that sometimes, like in children's stories, but in more modern tales, that kind of almost makes me gag. Anyway, all right, let's see what our next step is. Uh, while we're at it. 
Let's see, we don't want to do any power plays on screen. Looks like climbing the ranks will probably be the next step. I could go at those. Those are probably part of a mission, though. And I'll do those off screen. So, okay, let's save that outcast so we can unlock an outcast mission. Actually, I don't really need to do that on screen. The only reason I'm talking about it is because those random those outcasts will randomly pop up from place to place. So I'd rather take it out or get it now. I need something that fights back. That way I don't have to worry about it later. Now let's save this guy from uh, this Uruk dick. Uh, you know, I've learned the brutalize ability. I'm surprised I haven't... There we go. If you could. Anyway, I've learned the brutalize. I'm surprised I'm not haven't really utilized that one yet. Brutalize is basically you killing the killing the Uruks by stealthing them, just but you do it so over the top and just brutal, you know, that it scares other people. If they see it, they're like, Oh god, I don't want that to happen to me. Which I'd probably be like that too. I'm like, oh, that guy's crazy. He's gonna do it one of us. Anyway, let's go help Ratbag earn his uh, pedigree in uh, War Chief at War Ch or Uruk University. It's a real university. Look it up. Hey, if Full Sail is a real academy for graphics design, then Uruk University is also a real place and and worthy of your time. Actually, I don't know all the details. I just look up Full Sail University about like some of their iffy habits and you'll uh, know what I'm talking about. So where is that talk scum? Anyway, let's start another mission, shall we? Ratbag's hunger for power is growing and so is his usefulness to your cause. Keep keep him alive and he'll bring you one step closer to the Black Hand of Sauron. <laughs> even even Talion's just like, yeah, he's burned up the last very long. <laughs> what, wait, baby, you call this a duel? No! <laughs> I call this losing a duel, you glob. Right here? Is, it, is that good? I'm just. I'm not, I'm not, just <laughs> oh. We'd better hurry, or he'll lose his head. Awfully tempting, isn't it? Is it just me or is Ratbag voiced by Phil Lamar? I feel like I hear his voice in, in, in him every time he talks. I guess I'll wait till the end of the game to find out. It just, I, I see some... Uh... Alright, stealth kill the archers without being detected. We've got four minutes to do that. So, Alright, let's see if we can do it. Oh, we have to stealth kill them too. We, don't, we can't even archer them in the face. Next one I see, I'm gonna learn to ride it. You should be afraid of him. Right, where's the others? Okay. Okay. Let's... I don't know if I'll be able to get it, but I'm gonna try. I mean, we got four minutes still. Oh no! 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 Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, come on, man! Can we reset this? Can we redo that? That's bullshit. Here, let's try it again. Yeah, I'll only do this once. After that, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it because that's that's obviously not. But come on, man! I, I, there was no one there when I was checking in a wraith mode. Don't give me that crap. We can just do it again. It doesn't. It's not that bad. But yeah, I'll I'll only do that once in the future. I'll just accept. I'll just accept my loss. Yeah, that's good. Take forever to load. Aw, oh, man! <sighs> Yeesh. Alright, let's travel there. I forgot that every time you die or quit, you start off at the middle tower, the one where you start out at the beginning of the game. I mean, it's a good spot to start out at. It's just, you know, when you save and whatever, you always think it's going to be at the closest tower you started at, more than anything, but... Oh, well. That's more of a minor nitpick more than anything. Alright, let's try that again. And uh, see if we can uh, do the uh, bonus objective. God, I can't believe I got caught by some random douchebag. Anyway. I don't know, it's kind of annoying, but. Oh well. Alright, let's try it one more time. Alright, hopefully it'll let me skip that cutscene.
It probably will. Yep. Okay. Good. I mean, I like watching cutscenes, but I think every game should have the option to skip it. Skip any any uh, scene. And the beast can't see you coming. At least that's a, I believe so. Like, like yes, if you worked that hard to make a cutscene, you should you should watch it. But that's the first time. Anytime it's the first time you watch a uh, play a game, yeah, you you uh, you uh, you watch it. After that, then it's obviously your choice. But all right, that's what we need to do. We need to do this this time. Let's see if we can get that guy from behind. It is your beast. We haven't had a proper execution in a week. You can't just execute that back because you're bored. Shit! No. No. Time down. Time down. <laughs> We should have executed Trapman sooner! Another Archer dead and only one remains. All the death in your hand is impossible! He was a champion, and you, you're a cutless wonder! Ratback don't deserve this! Oh shit, no, no! Ah, oh, nuts! You didn't see me- Ah! Let's frick! Son of a bitch! That- that really pisses me off. Okay, you know what? I'm going to- I'm going to uh, do a quick edit here, and I'm going to redo it, because I, I want to get that bonus objective for some reason. I don't know why, I just do. So I'll see you all in a second when I uh, get that get that dude. I can't believe he turned around at the last second. That's BS. All right, anyway, we're back. It only took me a couple minutes. Just basically one more try, and we did it. All right, now we can stop him from doing that. Okay, what are my options? Right um, are oh, you're mock when rat bags gone. I'm not really sure what else to, other than to shoot the dude, maybe. Oh, nuts. Well, let's, uh... We don't appreciate all true pick. All orcs pick pocket. Including you! But I don't get caught. Yeah, I might as well start uh, taking them out, I guess. Since we already saved Duder. This shouldn't take too long. Since we got most of our decent abilities at this point, so... Actually, is that, um, Nolan... I think I'm hearing Nolan North in voice, the voices, too. Grog the Twin. show everyone here how low that is. So where's your twin? All right then. I should be around here somewhere. Not too difficult to take out a to take out a lot of these dudes. As long as it's not like a million of them, then I'm fine. You know, it's when it gets to be quite a few. That I have to worry about. It. Oh, ah, oh, nuts! I forgot to. I forgot to press the button to uh, dodge or whatever. All right, not too, not too bad. I wasn't paying attention. Uh. Oh, okay. Is it is it making noise every time I uh, I I hit him like uh, like a uh, part? Okay, when captains get low, you can grab him. Yeah, and then press A. Why yeah. keep the executioner alive? Our path lies in his mind. Okay, it's not. Oh, I have to hold him. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I've done that before, but I don't know why. I'm to... Yeah, give me that intel, bro Brog the Twin. Let's find out where your other twin is. There you go. But, uh, I've done it before, but I don't know why I hadn't... hadn't gotten it to... forgotten about it. Ooh! 
The war chiefs are the most powerful rank in the Uruk forces. Captains aspire to become war chiefs. Some will murder, assassinate, and backstab their way to the top. Others will try to gain favor or protection by serving war chiefs as bodyguards. <laughs> this connection indicates that Brog is the bodyguard of an unknown war chief. Okay. Select his master. Okay. Mog, the other twin. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Why would you let... Uh, you know what? It's it's Uruks and it works. I'm not even going to think of it. All right. In order to gain intel on war chiefs, you must interrogate a captain or worm. When you draw out a war, war chief, all his bodyguards will also be there to defend him. Oh. I see. So you could either... If you're going to fight a war chief, you could either fight him or kill off his bodyguards first before. Otherwise, you risk fighting more dudes at once. In order to draw out a war chief, you'll need to perform a showdown mission. These will be located near his stronghold. Remember, review your target's strength and weaknesses to gain plan your attack. I see. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, see, weakness. Uh, damage by ranged attack, so you can range him or shadow strike him. Uh, comet finisher, so like that Y and B ability, stuff like that is also, also weak in him. Strengths. Hate of Karagons becomes a rage. So he becomes a rage, which means he becomes more powerful, so you don't want to send a Karagon at him. Uh... Uh, becomes enraged when his bodyguard is attacked, so that means you want to take out his bodyguards before you even uh, deal with them if you can. Jump attack, battle hardened, flaming weapon, fearless. Can't be. Can't be gotcha. Okay. I mean, I think most war chiefs are fearless anyway. If I make, if I, if I remember correctly, from some of the videos I watched a long time ago. Well, that twin's dead. Hopefully, you felt that one. I want to grab the dagger, dude. Oh, well, now that's what I call teamwork, eh? <laughs> Go before I change my mind. What, what, what about our deal? Deal is over. Well, very well, then. I, I just thought that we... Right. Wait. Wait! Ranger! Watch this. Once the war chief hears of my victory, he'll make me his personal bodyguard. <laughs> and how does this help me? Uh, a backstabbing bodyguard? I'll take care of one of the war chiefs for you. And you do the other four on your own. Then we'll meet at the training camp, right? I'll make sure the war chief is there and you're ready for him. <laughs> What do you say? You make sure you keep your head on your neck this time. Yeah, I don't. Well, that's my plan. Yeah. <laughs> for, a story, for a story that has a pretty obvious end to it, and you can probably see it a long time coming, they make it goofier than it should be. Yeah, that's the problem with trying to mix in action, adventure, drama, and comedy into in a game. You know, it's 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 a hard mesh mesh to do. It's possible, but yeah, for sure. a little fight gets more powerful, gets new armor, becomes the Brog. Why would Brog let him be? Like I said, orcs and uruks are weird, so I don't I don't even know how to like really begin to figure that out. Like, why would he let his other twin? But then again, Uruks might not feel the same way about their own twin, so whatever. This ragbag led us up the chain of command in spite of himself. He has a gift for failure. What? A gift for failure, huh? All right, before we do that, let's take care of some... Uh, probably only have enough time to do with how much... I only cut out a couple of minutes from that one video, so I'll probably do, get a couple of uh, a couple of those runes or whatever, maybe one of those artifacts, and then we'll call it. Oh, we need to kill the war chiefs before we can even fight them in the first place. Which were the, this mission will show up, but then later on during the game, a lot of stuff that's as main missions become um, become what's the word? They become normal stuff you can do in the game later. Um, like the ability to take out war chiefs and stuff like that. I don't think it's required past the story, if I remember correctly. So, anyway, let's pick this one up. Uh, try Liak. Liash? It must be Liash, because Liak sounds like Klingon and sounds more like something to be from an orc. Which I think when they got the idea for the Klingons from, uh, 
from uh, for Star Trek. I think they probably. I bet Gene Roddenberry looked at a uh, looked at a uh, uh, looked at orcs and fancy like Vulcans and are supposed to be like elves and Romulans are supposed to be like dark elves stuff like that. But I don't know. That's just my assumption. I don't know for sure. Musty Tome. This almanac has been bound in leather and appears to be more than a century old. The writing within is a compilation of history, poetry, and translation from across Middle Earth. It gathers together works of antiquity from the great realms of Gondor, and Arnor and Numenor, and even some samplings of songs from the distant halflings. The most curious entry is The Lament, a work of mattered verse whose controversial origin has been debated among scholars for many years. It has been suggested by some that the author was an Ent, one of the ancient shepherds of the trees. Well, I don't know about that, but you are quite small. Are you Othellus? Or Hithlus? Oh, can I find anything in this almanac? Well, one way to be sure. Cheers. Now I wait. It's either cure my fever, or I'll be dead in seconds. It shan't do either. You'll need to ground it up for its healing properties. You, the outcast woman. I'm Erin. I never got to thank you, Ranger. There are but few of your kind on the Black Gate. Duty clouds kindness in these parts. That's why I deserted him. I'm here, gone. Here gone here gone and Aaron must be the love story that succeeds cuz you notice there is, there seems to be a trend in this game about like about how like certain people or characters end up like losing their loved ones due to like Mordor and I think Here gone and Aaron might be the I mean I don't know for sure I haven't watched video on this in forever but they might be the ones to survive all the way to the I end I promised you all if we would one day travel the Anduin when Deerhire was grown we would go together and we would be whole but pillars of the kings I hope that here those people can escape. I do not know where you shall see your family again. The doom of man is beyond the vision of the elves. Okay, seriously, get up. Okay, I can't see anything. Get me up there. Thank you. God. It's kind of annoying trying to figure out which, like, which spots to like find stuff at. Crowned with waving, living light. It's probably half of the... Yeah, half of the items. Tra Liak. Wait, no, that isn't it. Didn't we do that one before? It was probably like Pugadol Digor or something like that. Anyway, let's find. You know what? We'll run a little long since I redid that one little section with uh, trying to get the. Just to get another artifact, pretty much. That's that's all. So let's get that really quick. There was a kingdom here in Mordor itself, raised in defiance of the Dark Lord. Oh, really? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. I think. Maybe. No, it is. It's just, if, if you like, if you like War of the Rings lore. If you don't like War of the Rings lore, then uh, you probably don't like it. Okay. Okay, it's up here. I don't care if I cause trouble. I just want to find this item and call it an episode. And basically, out, uh, in between episodes, I'm gonna finish a lot of those power plays and finish any like survivor or or um, whatever stuff I've missed. But other than that, we'll we'll that way we'll be up to up to snuff by the by the next episode. Horn helmet. These helmets were once used by the outcasts of Undine for secret rituals. The horns and the leather were taken from the wild kings of Ara, hunted far from Mordor in the fields of Rune. It dates from a distant time when these men were prisoned, were prisoners of Gondor, made to toil in the construction of the Towers of the Teeth. Even now, the outcasts remain mistrustful of those wearing metal armor. This helmet is a reminder of a dark times past, a harbinger of darker times to come, and a symbol of the outcasts' determination to never again live under the yoke of slavery. Huh, who knew Gondorians were kind of dicks at one point in the history of uh, Middle-earth? Oops. You've led me into your homes. You've led me into your lives. And now you bestow upon me your greatest honor. Though I come from the Black Gate, though I was once known to you as the enemy, I turn my back on Gondor. You people, you outcasts as you've been named, are people of honor, people of strength, I have found love within your tribe, but for your tribe as well. And you have taught me of a life I thirsted for, but never knew existed. Now it is my time to teach you. I will impart to you all my knowledge of war. 
the orcs push us, but we will find strength and push back. And this land will be ours. Ours? Like against Gondor or whatever? Well, anyway. In the next episode of Mor uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, we'll continue on our adventure as we go back to meet Smeagol once again, and then we'll t and if we have enough time, perhaps we'll take on the 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 war chiefs that Ratbag mentioned. All Mordor is all our oyster in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.